Hey everyone, it's Matthew from Western Dragon Tea. In this video, evaluating jasmine pearls. This video is going to go under the jasmine tea playlist for at any point in time you like this video, please consider giving the video a thumbs up and subscribing, as well as liking us on Facebook. Now let's get into the evaluation. To give you a little background about these jasmine pearls, they were harvested in spring of 2018. So they're nice and fresh. Um, here's a look at the dry leaf for you guys at home. As you can see, they're very all consistent size, all very nice hand rolled jasmine pearls. As usual, I'll be doing this evaluation in Gong Fu Brewing, so I'll be using 7 grams of tea. This is a green tea base, so I'm going to be brewing the tea at about 160 to 165 degrees because I don't want to let that tannical material out and cause the tea to get too bitter. So let's start with our smell of the dry leaf. So I'm just going to warm up our 100 ml gaiwan real quick. All around there. Alrighty. Leave that on there for a little bit. This tea is rolled like an oolong, so it will take a little longer for these leaves to open up, but they're still packed with flavor. So. Right away I smell a very floral scent, as expected with the jasmine tea. But I'm also getting a lot of a berry note as well. Exactly like fresh blueberries, very sweet blueberries. That's what I'm really getting from this. Smells amazing. Now that I've smelled the dry leaves, I'm going to go and see what I think of the tea rinse. So, like always, I'm just going to be rinsing this tea to get rid of any of the little particles of tea dust or anything else that I wouldn't want to be drinking. Alrighty. So with this first tea rinse, I'm getting still a lot of floral scent. Kind of jasmine-y, but definitely a lot of fresh grass bamboo-y nodes. The fruity flavor is still there, but it's kind of mixed into a nutty scent, kind of like a haz hazelnut. So let me get into that first infusion, but first I want to show you guys the leaves at home after the tea rinse. I haven't brewed it yet, but you can see that the pearls have just barely opened up enough to get some of that scent, but we haven't gotten a real idea of what the leaves are like yet. So let's get onto that first infusion so we can evaluate the leaves after they are brewed and our first tasting. mix that around a little bit. I'm going to be steeping this for about 60 seconds for this video because I want to expose you guys to the leaves throughout the whole video so you can see what you guys would be getting. So I'll be brewing this tea for about 60 seconds. I am using a clay guy wand but I recommend for anybody at home that's watching that they use glass as this is a green tea base and we want to let that heat dissipate quicker. So now it's been a minute, I'm going to pour the first infusion. Now let's check out this liquor. I see a very nice golden peachy honey color. Here's a look for you guys at home. Very nice. Now let's give it a smell. I'm getting a lot of those fruity nodes and floral nodes that grassy flavors seem to dissipate. Whew. 
So let's give it its first tasting. That jasmine flower really kicks off the taste as it slowly is dissipating on my tongue to more of a grassy, but I can still taste those berry notes, those blueberry notes. It's just not quite, it's, it's still there, it's just in the background. So, let's finish this and while I'm drinking this liquor, I'm going to start the second infusion because of course we need to see how many times we can steep this for you guys at home. Put the lid on there, mix it around a little bit. One thing about these leaves is the pearls opened up very consistently. We didn't have some leaves opening up uh, earlier and some opening up later. They all were opening up at a very consistent rate, which is great because we know that these leaves are all of the same par and uh, up to the Western Dragon Tea standard. The leaves, as expected, are all very nice grassy green. There's no tinges at the end of the leaves that you may find with a longer leafed tea. And uh, the only thing I'm seeing here is just a couple of small tears at the end of the leaves that may have come from uh, the rolling process. But I'll go ahead and finish off this brew to make way for the next. The peachy gold color of the liquor goes really well with the jade cup I'm drinking from today. Here's a look for you guys at home. Those bubbles just float nice and perfect. That's some good stuff. And it's been about a minute. For the next infusion, I can already see that the liquor is staying as expected, a very consistent, nice peachy royal gold color. Those leaves breathe a little bit. <clears throat> I'm just getting a consistent flavor just like the last brew. It's not letting me down. So now that it's been about a minute, I'm gonna go ahead and pour our third infusion. The liquor is staying in nice, transparent, peachy gold color. Just as expected, this is the third infusion. Here's another look for you guys at home so you can see. Hopefully you agree. Here's the third infusion taste. Love that sound. I'm gonna let those leaves breathe. What I love about this ja these jasmine pearls is that all of the flavors and the notes work very harmoniously. There's not one flavor outshining the other. They're all working very, together, very well together to give a nice overall consistent taste. So now to give you guys a look at the leaves, this is what 
you're going to consistently be finding. Now, this is a great leaf. Let me get that away for you guys. This is a great leaf that you'd be expecting in your tea. It's a nice, wholesome, well put together leaf. This is about, this leaf is about the third or fourth leaf that you'd find on the bush, which is great. It's filled with flavor. Hopefully, you guys can see that. These leaves are beautiful and pristine. The quality is definitely there. Put that back. I'll finish this. Meanwhile, I will be doing our fourth infusion of this tea. I want to show you guys the leaves just sitting in the gaiwan at home. Hopefully that's a good shot. To finish this last cup, this stuff is too good. Something I did notice about this jasmine tea, it's, it's very good for hot and cold brew. I notice the difference between the hot and the cold is with the hot brew, I'm getting more of that grassy flavor. But as, for example, that cup had cooled down, I was getting more of those fruity notes were coming through. They weren't outshining the others, like I was saying. It's just one of them is slightly more prominent. So we'll get this fourth infusion going here soon. These leaves had really expanded and filled up the cup. As compared to earlier, we saw how compressed those leaves were and they've completely filled up the guy one. Very dense, but filled with flavor. Here's the fourth infusion. So once again, you're getting that nice golden consistent color. Very peachy. You can see, almost see the fruitiness in this brew. Those floral notes are like no other. I'm very impressed with this jasmine tea. It has been nothing but consistent. Love it. Like I said, this is great for a nice hot winter brew. It can also be brewed as a cold brew. Both are very good with different unique flavors. That's amazing. This tea can be brewed about four to five times. I'm going to stop there for the sake of the video. but. This is an amazing tea. If you are interested in this tea, the link to our shop will be in the description below. And like I said, I recommend for this tea, as it is a green tea base, to be brewing in a glass pot or glass skywan to get make sure that the flavor is exactly how you want it. That's all for this video, guys. If you like this video or you like tea, make sure to go like and subscribe to our Western Dragon Tea YouTube channel. And if you're interested in this jasmine tea, the link to our shop will be in the description below for our Western Dragon Tea Jasmine Pearls. And we'll catch you guys in the next video.